we've teamed up with expert local trackers who are taking us deep into the forest. Donald, our guide, reckons there's a tree down here, a fig tree, that's in fruit right now. And it... Oh, yes. prints. We already have the signs. So those are some really, really clear prints and very fresh as well. Those are this morning, for sure. So they're close. Let's go. So what I was saying before was that there's a fig tree down here and it's in fruit at the moment. So this would be a really good place to try and find the chimps. And as we get closer, we find another clue. It's part of a fig, which has been left behind by a chimp. It's another good sign. All the signs are pointing this way. And then we hear the haunting calls. Oh, yes. And spot dark shapes up in the branches. Yes, fantastic. That is the chimpanzee long call just this excited wail that builds and builds and builds. We are utterly surrounded and being pelted for a bump with figs. Up since first light, these chimps are now gorging themselves on ripe figs for breakfast. Ooh, oh, thank you. Oh no. This is what we expect in the forest. Wait, was that fig or was that poo? No, it's fig. No, it, it wasn't. It's... I'm sorry, it's Ronald, a... but that is not fig. <laughs> That is chimp poo, and that just clouded me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling this is how oh, our day is going to go. Again. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, uh, what I can tell you from looking at this dropping is that at the moment, these chimps are feeding almost exclusively on fig. It's kind of mushy, I mean, it almost looks like a squelched up fig itself. But that isn't always the case. In fact, here, less than half of the chimps' diet is made up from fruit. What they actually feed on an awful lot of the time is monkeys and even small antelope. 